Happy New Year's, everyone. You know, 2023 was an amazing year. We had so many great things happening, but to be honest, we didn't start out so well. I actually caught COVID during a Mr. Beast shoot. A couple days ago, I actually got a phone call from Mr. Beast, of course, Jimmy. Of course, we've worked with him in the past, and he has a pretty dope video that he wants to do, which includes some snakes. Because that snake there is pretty heavy, so Jay, you're carrying that one by yourself, right? I got a karate practice in like 10 years. That's a big girl. It is a little bit stressful because, you know, we get down there and we test tomorrow morning before we can get on studio to do the collab. You know, if I test positive, uh, this is all for now. Trying to give Juliet a little bit of time outside. You know, she's been kind of cooped up in here driving down here. So we've got a big hotel room in, by the way. There you go. I have to go both sides. Cold. Like nothing. I'm not like no fever, no anything, a little cold. Okay. Thank you so much, man. All right. Thanks, man. You're negative. I'm positive. What? <sighs> they say it's five days from the onset of the first symptoms, which was yesterday. In the meantime, I'm stuck 900 miles away from home, away from my family, away from my comforts of home, and I've got COVID. And I actually went to my first reptile show in five years. We're in Durham, North Carolina, and we're actually going to the first reptile show that I've been to in about five years. The thing I loved about the scale of stuff is just how clean it makes them look, right? This is a really cool leopard gecko, and I'm kind of embarrassed to say that I didn't understand how the genetics worked on this animal. What's up with the chicken? She's cute. I know, what's her name? Oh, Alex? She looks like a baby owl. Oh, it's like a little baby like eagle owl. Congratulations, Harper, for being able to potentially get a cool Euro Massive. Here with Lamar from Status Quo Reptiles, and uh, this absolutely is beautiful, dude. So a mangrove monitor, you said how long have you had it? About 14 months old. 14 months old, and I tell you, got kind of striping down. Look at how amazing that is. And we got a bunch of new animals this year, including Neil, Frosty, and Hiccup. Lots of paper, there's lots of paper, there's lots of paper. And here is the bag. Boy, oh boy, this definitely is not getting out. There's no doubt about that. Oh my gosh! Look at this thing! Here it is, guys. A snowblind albino water monitor that we get to move Neil over to the Reptarium. Ever since we got Neil, the pie golden child, I have wanted to bring her over and have her part of the Reptarium. People are going to absolutely love her because she has an amazing temperament. So today it's going to happen. All right. So I'm going to put this plant in a plastic bag because I want to actually foam it into place. your new enclosure, little girl. About a month ago, I was actually perusing through my Instagram feed when I came across this picture. And so I had to figure out more about this animal and find out if I could actually acquire it. Guess what? It's here. And I couldn't be more excited about this, guys. This was a long time coming. <gasps> oh my gosh. It is exactly what I was hoping for. Look at this, guys. This is a Sure, wait, whoa, he's a little bit crazy. You guys know that I'm getting heavily into fish with the aquarium expansion next door, and this year we actually started my first saltwater tank. I'm here with Paul Cafaro. What is going on, everyone? And he's about to help me set up my first tank. It's cold. And we're actually heading off to one of my favorite local pet shops to get everything we need. So Paul, I definitely want to set up something like a clownfish. I yep. love I love clownfish, I love anemones. These are all clownfish here, the stuff that I really want, but there's tons of stuff. And I'm huge about supporting local shops. Combo price, I'm yeah. gonna save you more yeah, money. Right right now. I'm like, yeah, what? <laughs> Extra fries. Same thing as like sand, established rock. So you can literally put this in today. Yes. Go in and out of. Perfect, that should be good. And then we'll work with it at home and leave it a little surprise for the viewers. Better how much on it? <laughs> And now it's time to get set up. Dude, what are you doing? You know, I'm trying to escape it, but we really don't have the craziest rocks to work with. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit to clear up, but after it clears up, then you can do your touch-ups. So we left the filter plug in the water. Perfect. Look at us. In the water? It's <laughs> a great start. First marine tank, Brad? <laughs> yes, it is, actually. <laughs> Oh my oh. god, that looks great! I spent 50 hours with my beautiful anacondas. It's 7 in the morning. I am spending the next 50 hours in with my anaconda in their enclosure. Anacondas are eating in here. Where am I going to be sitting? That ought to be interesting. Many, 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 many hours to go. She does not understand personal space at all. <laughs> this is what I'm going to have to deal with. They're crawling all over it. It's just so funny. I'll see you in the morning. Wish me luck. Good luck. Okay. All right. 
See you later. It's shocking how like mesmerizing this waterfall is and then there's a little hum. Did you splash your face? No, I splashed my face. About 24 hours in now, maybe 26 and a half hours to go, but I am so sweaty from the like lights on. One light stays on, an infrared light stays on. Not exactly the most comfortable way to sleep. Lori, come to the crack. I can't hear you in this. You're talking the crack. <laughs> How was your night? Did you miss me? Yes, I missed you, but I had the best night ever. Feed the anaconda. Here you go. There she goes. That's one. He's coming out over here. Come on, girl. Oh, wow. She definitely took it there. Definitely so dragging it towards the water. Jazz is sitting up here now, too, and he just ate, so he might be in food mode. Definitely wild to have this perspective of what's going on with three anacondas eating, two of them being right next to each other. Have one more night's sleep, and waking up tomorrow will be amazing. I'm telling you what, it is so hot and muggy in here. And like, I'll spend, mate, I don't know if I'll do 50 hours, because this is really, really tough. I'll spend at least 24 hours in with Lucy. Maybe I'll do 50 hours, but you gotta get it to 20,000 likes, so. Um, okay, just gonna chill with some Netflix. It's probably like 12.30 at night, and I have not slept at all. Way more uncomfortable tonight than it was last night. I think probably because I haven't really been able to stretch or walk around, but I cannot get comfortable. My back is hurting like you can't believe. Ah, oh, it's so nice. So much room without Brian here. How happy I am. No, no one's really good. <laughs> no, it's so great. No one's supposed to be watching me. He's sleeping on the floor over there. Three, two, We played hide and seek at Gatorland. Today we're at Gatorland, alligator capital of the world, home to over 2,000 alligators, and we're gonna be playing hide and seek. Wait, what? Danny and Savannah are in. I don't know. Go, go get them. We're official as could be. All right, we gotta go. Actually, I've got an idea. Because we're gonna be in Gatorland, we should probably cut some meat up. We'll be good. Okay. All okay. right. All right. Sounds thanks. Good. Thanks. Yeah. Good have a good one. You. First place people would hide. I don't know. Brian likes crocodiles. Now. That was a close one. Have you guys seen Brian Barczyk? Sure have. You have. Oh yeah. Where was he? I don't know, honestly. Guys, I think I can find way up there and hide for sure. Let's check this out. Brian. Hello? Uh, no. Uh, I think this is a bad idea. I'm going back down. They're with the alligators. They have to be. The birds at Gatorland are super furious all the time. What the heck is going on? Super furious. I'm alone here in the swamp walk. This place is pretty dangerous, so I doubt Savannah is gonna come here. Check this out. This is Cuddles. Check it out. I think I can get in here. Good luck, Savannah. Last time I played hide and seek, I was a lot younger. This is tiring. It's a really great place to hide, and we have a bucket of chicken. We have a bunch of alligators, so why not go ahead and feed a couple? Come on, guys, let's go. Come on. Ruckus, you're making a ruckus. Come on, guys. Up. Oh my god! There they are! Hey! Get out, get out of there! I just saw Savannah and Danny back there a little bit, so I gotta get the heck out of here. Noah, oh my god! What? Oh! Then Danny and Savannah from Gatorland came here and tried to steal Pepper. We're gonna have to figure out some way to get Pepper out of yeah, here. Yeah, I think we can do it. I think this is I the think day. the van's outside. I think we get Pepper, hop in the van, and then we go. Good job, Elvis. You're showing good off. Good job, Elvis. You're showing off for everybody, being a good boy. Come on, let's go, go, go. The keys are in the van already. Look out, Matilda! So we target train all of our lizards this way, so again, so that they never think that food is coming when someone's going to pet them. You got the keys, right? Yeah, got the keys. <laughs> Mr. Fry. Hang on one second, guys. I'll be back in one second. We gotta get out of here. Now what, I know, but what are we Go right, go right. Uh, pretty sure uh, Savannah and Danny just took off with Pepper in the van. The Reptarian man? The Reptarian man. Like, go on. They just... Savannah wanted Pepper super bad for Gatorland, but I don't understand what's going on. And they're literally going five miles an hour. Go, go, go. I think Brian's right behind us. What? That's his truck. Just play it cool. What we so I, do got, now? I got a plan. I got a plan. He's coming. Brian's on I to us. I got a plan. I got a plan. What are you guys doing with Pepper? We were taking Pepper to pet, pet the pet store. We're gonna get some treats for we, Pepper. We don't want to bother you. You seemed a little busy, so. Well, guys, seriously, I think it's best just to go back to the Reptarium. That's fine. I don't fine. think Pepper needs to go to the pet Why shop today. Why are you so today. upset? Well, I thought you were taking them. Of oh, course not. 
I mean, come on, we flew here. Duh. I was a contestant in a Mr. Beast video where I had to walk across the water of a bunch of alligators and I won $20,000. You want to do what? <laughs> yeah, we could do that. Mr. Beast just called me and he needs my help again. He wants to do something with alligators. In particular, he wants to put a bunch of money around a ton of alligators, not this size, but big ones. So I had to call my friend Savannah at Gatorland. Al and some other alligators we could get up there and potentially do it there. We basically awesome. walked around Gatorland, kind of scouting out the areas that they really thought would work out really well. There's a few areas that we had in mind. This particular one looks pretty promising. We woke up in the morning and it was raining at Gatorland, but we got lucky and it cleared up later in the day and we're able to actually put the poles in the water and the shoot is on. Thing. Seems easy. I'm in the water. Yeah, so the this water. is the idea. It's going to be walking across this to get to a case of $20,000. Yeah, there's an alligator right here. So Savannah's testing out. Danny's testing out. And jump, and then right when I hit the ramp, an alligator tried to get me. But hey, I won the $20,000. Hey, this is my boy Larry. Larry. Kobe! Oh, you know them all now. We took Salt the Albano Alligator to PetSmart again. It's time to head back to PetSmart. Lori, you want to come with me? Yeah, I probably should keep you out of trouble. I think it's best that Lori drives this time. Safety first. Stop. She I swear to God, I'll crash right in the building. Is that what we want to do? We're on our way. Albino alligator? Yeah, yeah, no, albino alligator. Her name is Salt. You want pet? Sweet. She's cute. Yeah, isn't she awesome? Can I take a picture? Absolutely. I see you on TV all the time. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Just getting a leash for my alligator. Could you please point me really to the cute. alligator harness aisle? No alligator harnesses, but dog harnesses are going to be the fourth aisle. Okay, thank you. No anything uh, else, treats or anything for alligators? We do have some free stride stuff. There you go. Oh my God, how cool this is. She'll really like it. She'll like to bite on it. She'll never let it go. I think I'm gonna get Phoebe a new collar. I should have left her at home. There you go. It's real, yeah, look it. Yeah. <laughs> Put your arms underneath. Yeah, that, like that, yeah. Did you hook it? You. Like You're that, yep, funny. there like that, just like that. Yep, that's perfect. I did it. I like it. This is Salt the Albino Alligator. We tested some really weird reptile products from Amazon. The other day, I bought the five weirdest reptile items on Amazon. And they just arrived. I'm gonna start with this one here because it is absolutely wild. I saw this and I was like, how does this work? That's how this works? It just commence my day of work. He doesn't need that. He'll just sit on your shoulder. Get a lot of compliments on this. No, but this is a satchel. Indiana Jones wears one. We're not selling that, right? Maybe. My dad's office is a mess, so I'm challenging all of us to find the weirdest object in here. I got Laverne and Shirley here. Never forget. Doesn't even work. That's suppression. Parasite pals. <laughs> Oh. oh my god. Look at, Look at that distinguished gentleman. Did you buy this from the store yourself? No, actually someone sent it to me. You cool, kept huh? it. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah. This is actually a hammock for a bearded dragon. So I'm not exactly sure how it goes. No, a jump rope. That's a vine accessory. Oh. I do it right? No. Oh my god. I met the snake of my nightmares again. I just got a call from Crocodile Kyle down at Primitive Predators, and he said I have to come down to Florida because he has a couple animals I have to meet. It might be a white king cobra. I'm not sure. That's just my initial thought process. Hopefully I'm right because that would be absolutely epic. So we're back in Ohio, and we actually took a little grief last time from you Ohioans, so we did some research, and it turns out that Ohio is actually known for... Here we are again, back down in Florida to Crocodile Palace Place to find out what they brought me down here for. Better be a white king cobra. See the white on his jawline. Oh my gosh. Look at his tail too. Oh, and look at, yeah, look at the white all in his tail. Isn't that crazy? It is <gasps> Well, those Pied Nile crocodiles are absolutely incredible, but they tell me there's another animal that I'm going to be absolutely freaked out by, so I don't even know what to expect. The Pied Niles are enough for a drip for itself. Let's see what else they have for us. A little bit of advice. Whenever you're in with a venomous snake, always cover your eyes. Tell me when I can look. Right here, the left right. See it? My right. Go ahead and look. Can I look? Look at this. This is amazing. What the heck is it? Wait a second here. What do we got here, guys? What do we got here? What is, what is, you're double doing this on me here? Don't Ryan, kill, what do we got? This is a leucistic king cobra. Get, <laughs> get the, there's a, 
Oh my God, I'm gonna have a heart attack here. We have a leucistic cotton mouth and a leucistic king cobra. We tested venom against human blood. Today, we're gonna find out what it's like to get bitten by a rattlesnake. But I'm not actually gonna take a bite. What I'm gonna do is find out what the venom does to my blood. Okay, so now I have the timber rattlesnake here. What we wanna do is get a bite on this and get some venom extraction. There's about seven to 8,000 venomous snake bites in the country per year. Timber rattlesnakes and diamondbacks account for a small portion of them, but they are ambush hunters. We just got a little bit of venom out of this guy. Oh, he's, oh, look at the venom yield on this one. Tell me when it's over. Tell me that was all. It's blood coming out. I'm feeling wheezy. <laughs> Let me just look at the venom. I'm just gonna put a little blood in here. This will be the timber rattlesnake blood here. And then this is gonna be the Western Diamondback. Put it right in here like this and see how it starts to react. That's enough venom to definitely put a hurting on somebody. And this will simulate a bite and we'll see if it actually breaks down the tissue. Ugh. It's been about an hour. This is the normal blood and when I actually go like this, look at how it kind of goes like that, right? Coagulates in the middle here. Now this is the timber rattlesnake that just has a little bit of venom in the end, but look at how much more loose that is. Is that crazy? Look at the difference. A little drop of venom made the blood completely not coagulate. And then this is the real one here with all of that venom. Let's take a look at what happens. Oh my gosh. We took Elvis to the park and he kind of messed up Mike's eye. Sorry, Mike. Hello? Today we're gonna take my giant lizard to the park. Ow, 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 ow. Safety first. This ought to be an interesting ride. Going for a ride, buddy. Dry snow. Ow, the cold. Ow, wait, no, I actually go faster. I was driving. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, we're in trouble. Oh no, I keep getting cut by things. You got sliced bad, dude. Yeah, it's, 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 it's pretty bad. Keep it covered for now, yeah. and I'll take a look at it. What happened? Elvis got me. Seriously? Yeah. Didn't blame me, scratch me. Should I grab my chair? Yeah, get your chair. Gotta get my chair. It's not deep, but you take a look at the TV and use a stitch or two. Wait. It's it's pretty superficial. It is. This time we learned we're taking the Reptarium van. Mike, you go in the front. I'm in the front. That's Mark, here we come. He's sorry, you can tell. He didn't mean to. Oh, I think you look small in here. Elvis loves fish, but uh, the problem is he loves to eat them. But I'm gonna see if he likes to look at them too, because they are pretty. Hey, Elvis, what do you think? You like the fancy little guppies? Yeah, it is. It's a, it's a pretty big lizard. Cool, I thought it was an alligator. I love how every experience, everyone was just like amazed with Elvis. Nobody was like terrified or anything. Even the dogs loved them. That was a great surprise. Elvis is just loving the sun. It's a beautiful hot day. The sun is shining down. He's just kind of chilling out here. Spread eagle. I opened up a free reptile pet shop twice. Today we're at a local reptile pet shop and we're taking it over. But we're not just taking it over. Today, everyone that comes in, they get whatever they want for free. Today, I'm in sunny Florida and I wanna give away a bunch of free stuff. But to do that, I've gotta take over this pet shop. I gotta go talk to the owner. Hey, do you mind if I take over your reptile pet shop for the next few hours? Yeah, go for it, man. This new ball python. <laughs> That's actually a blood python, right? How much does that cost? He's actually on sale right now for $249.99. Well, actually he's on sale for free. My God, I get to take you home for free. Welcome to the pet Welcome. store. Have you been here before? Yeah, you nice. Have? Welcome back. Oh my God, it's Brian. Hi. <laughs> Today. I'm actually here for ice pod stuff. <laughs> ice pod stuff. Oh, so I take it you watch the vlog then? I do. How do you get the vlog? Uh, I get notifications on YouTube. No, so. so how do you get notifications? On my phone? But, but what's the notifications from? Because I'm a subscriber. <laughs> Does this look good? Yep, I'm set. You take this and I'll meet you at the counter. Make sure I do it right. Enter. That total is, oh. uh, you're all set. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you need a bag? You place it in there. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! My babies! Oh. You know the men in black thing? Oh, okay. <laughs> we busted a bunch of reptile myths. Today, I'm gonna be busting 50 reptile myths in 50 hours. All lizards have legs. Hey, Mike, you wanna get that for me? This one doesn't have legs. And honestly, there are three species that have no legs. Only thing lizards eat are flies and other insects. Obviously that's not true because our buddy Tabasco loves his veggies. All toads and frogs are poisonous and kill the people. The truth is all toads and frogs do have a little bit of poison venom gland, but they're not dangerous to people. There's only a few species on the planet that have enough toxin to actually affect people. Thank goodness. When a snapping turtle bites you, they will not let go until they hear the roar of thunder. That's so stupid. Insert something about Thor. Thunder! 
Reptiles make great pets for boys, but not for girls. What the heck is that supposed to mean? The one big change in the reptile keeping hobby is the fact that there's probably almost as many women keeping reptiles as there are men these days. So that is a complete myth. Tortoises can't feel their shell. Their spine actually runs all the way down to their tail so they can feel every little movement that we do. She loves scratches. We actually got to go to the premiere of Jurassic World. This weekend, the movie Jurassic World comes out and I am super excited about it. And Universal Studios actually reached out to us and they're actually coming by to drop off a bunch of goodies. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. Dude! Henry, 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 why didn't you tell me? I insist oh. on being here when they're born. I insist on being here when they're born. Oh, look at this one. It's actually starting to hatch now. So I'm gonna take my scissors. I'm just gonna cut it around and see what kind of baby we have in here. Come on! Don't move the, the, the list. Dude, I'm trying to keep my lunch on. Sword. You get a poster and a sticker. Don't take all the posters. A poster. I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> You're fire. Do not fire. Hey, hey, I see you. Back up. Close the gate. Are you crazy? Ah! 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 Blue, 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 do not blue, shoot. Stay. I see you. Do not shoot or they're never going to trust me. Shut the gate. What? Stay. I see you. Sex. Ow! <laughs> Good job, dude. <laughs> Jesus! Get out. Should we get popcorn? Of course. Are you excited? Dude, we're going to see Jurassic Park early. This is a big screen, too, man. This is like an IMAX. This is awesome. Certainly one of the biggest highlights for the year for me was my girl Ivy had 41 babies. All right, guys. I am freaking out right now. Lori, are you freaking out? Are you freaking out? <laughs> am I am freaking out. Look at this. Oh my goodness gracious, guys. Are you are you kidding me right now? Okay, this is 22. Oh, and she's coming hard. 23, 24, 25. She's just protecting her young. She's gonna calm down after a meal or two, but I tell you what, this is crazy. 39 babies, that might be it. I'm gonna continue to look around and see if I can't find any more. I'm not a lot. Oh, there's the 40th! We hit 40, guys! It was awesome experience to see Ivy actually have her babies. I was like, there's no way this is actually happening. As I heard screaming babies, I was like, oh my god. Every one of those 40 babies, probably within one to one and a half minutes. That's how quick it happened. I thought it was gonna take hours, and it took literally less than two minutes. Bro, I mean, come on! I mean, that's babies, dude! I, I'm like out of my mind. I can't. Uh, it's, it's almost like a dream. We actually got to watch Taco the Big King Cobra eat a snake. Today, we're gonna find out why they call King Cobra the King. So I'm here with my buddy Devin. He brought his amazing King Cobra named Taco. And they call him King Cobras because they actually eat other snakes. We have a frozen thaw reticulated python here. I'm just going to go ahead and offer it to Taco right now and see if it's interested. See, oh yes, look at that. Took it right away. And that's right, king cobras eat other snakes. That'd be a really good meal for it. And there Taco goes. It actually positions itself and it's just going to suck it down like a spaghetti noodle. in a very little bit it's peeking up now now it's starting to look around a little bit that last little tail isn't going to take long to get down it's going to move the rest of the body of that snake down and it's going to have an amazing meal this is probably the time where i'm going to back up just a little bit not that i'm worried about taco at all but i want to play it safe i don't want to take any chances i broke into a public aquarium at night oh i think i got it let's go and we are in guys store behind us. Whoo! Dark in here. How cool is it to be here at night? Come on, one more. One more. There you go, buddy. All right, let's go find what else we can do. I love this. Look at this giant paku, shelving those arowana, catfish in here. If I put my hand like this, they're definitely coming up for food. I think this is the food, but we gotta find some tokens. Let's go find tokens. Oh my gosh, is that the cutest thing? Oh, they're sticking their hands in there. They're like, yes. I want to be on the biting end. I don't know this kinkajou, so I'm going to be a little more cautious, but they are so soft. Absolutely incredible. So nocturnal. Look at those big eyes. Shark eggs. Take a look at this right here. You can literally see the baby shark. <laughs> Everybody get some fishies. I literally feel like a kid in a candy store, but the truth is I'm an adult that broke into an aquarium. Shh. I wonder what that lady on that thing thought. When she came by, I wonder if she maybe just thinks I'm an employee. I'm not sure. This is a keelbill toucan. 
We threw our first ever animal social media event, Animal Con USA. By the way, the next one is September 15th, 16th, and 17th in Orlando. Link in the description. Today is Animal Con USA. I seen you with that kid. That's not the right kid. Got the wrong kid. This is the little guy that wants <laughs> to be in the video. Hey! Have you seen MJ? Maybe me and Greek. Did you check him out? Uh, no, I didn't. Where is he? What are you looking for? Have MJ. you seen MJ? Oh. Supposed to be moderating right now. <laughs> <laughs> Got rid of all my people. Oh my god, it's Kevin McCurley? I'm all alone. Oh my god, I'm Kevin McCurley? Like, oh, I'm gonna make that thing. Eaters out there on the happening with us is. It's our dad. It's my brothers. It's still possible to raise a colony in those conditions. However, they need constant humidity. Oh no. Oh, you found her. Okay, we gotta go. We, we gotta we go. Have to go. I took Kevin's phone. He left it on the stage. And now I'm in a very interesting predicament. Do I just walk up there and give it to him? Oh, I thought I was going on. So, okay, so let's go to the green room. Do you leave any for me? I don't want to. I'm not. <laughs> Absolutely not. The event, Is it done? The event literally Are we done? Ended. Done. Dude. And see. We continued on with the expansion across the street, and we even bought our very first aquariums. Today, I have a couple of aquariums that are showing that up. brand new were $250,000. And they'll be arriving anytime. All I know is that by the end of the day, those tanks need to be inside that building. This is sweet. Can I just sleep in here? Oh, yeah? You can hear bubbles. God, I feel so much better to see the other side of the forks. Slow down, Jay. There's still a ton that could go wrong. One more tail. <laughs> Hard to pick up. It's very, very happy. <laughs> I do this. Should just stuck with reptiles. Oh, We're actually stuck on this piece here. This tank is so heavy. We got five of us pushing and still stuck on this lift. It's got to get in now. Can you take it back? <laughs> I think that's something I'm going to be saying a lot here in the coming months. So we're going to get the bucket over there on the machine, put this pad underneath it, and then lift this up and try to work it inside. But it's so scary watching this unfold, and this is about as far as the plan can take us. It's as far as we can get with the bucket loader, so I've already broke one dolly, completely broke. We're gonna do it like the Egyptians. So much better. Hey, let me let me move it back a little bit, watch your fingers. I've watched a ton of Egyptian stuff, and isn't it interesting that thousands of years later, we're basically using the same technique that they used to move stones to move these 5,000 pound tanks. My giant snake Lucy escaped. Well, kind of. Every morning I come into the Reptarium, I do a quick look around the shop just to make sure everything's okay. Why is Lucy's cage open? What the heck is going on over here? Is this is on the ground? Her lock is off? I mean, it's a 20-foot snake. Can't hide that far, right? I'm going to go back on the security camera footage and find out who was the last person to leave and not lock up. Oh, come here, guys. Come here. Look at this. Tight around this thing. There's no way I can get her off of it. Keep moving. Come this way. I am so glad she's not striking right now. Get her to come this way. It's not easy. Oh, my gosh. This is not easy. I swear, whoever left this cage open is in big trouble. Okay, guys. Uh, Yeah, it, it was me that left it open. Roll the tape. Perfect. Got my very first stitches ever from working with animals over 35 years from this little guy. This is my buddy, the red-faced green iguana named Tabasco. He can be a little bit cantankerous when it comes to being cage defensive. When it comes to being cage defensive, I haven't even one time been to the hospital for any bite that I've ever had any reptiles for over 35 years. I salute you, elder citizen. As you can see from uh, the bandage on my arm, yesterday I had a little lapse of judgment. What happened? He got bit by Tabasco. Bad. Like, bad. Like, bad. like probably. 10, 15 stitches. stitches. It's gonna be a lot of stitches. You got big. Do you want me to show you real quick? Grey's Anatomy. It's it's like bad, bad. Grab my arm right here. I'm gonna show you guys really quick for the faint of heart. You don't wanna see this, okay? That is what it looks like right there. So uh, yeah, this is the first time in 35 years I'm gonna get a stitch from a reptile. Didn't feel any pain at all. I didn't really bleed that terribly much for such a big bite. We're about 10 minutes away from the, the hospital. Hopefully it'll go smooth and uh, I tell you what. What a day. Now we're just waiting on someone to come in and tell me um, what to do next. You know, I mean, how many stitches and whatever. So, 
Yeah. Big old chunk. And that whole arm's covered, so that's, that's not gorilla good. right there, right? I don't know, man. I think that's it was what like he said. Two. It's his gorilla's not going to look the same. They're not going to line that up perfectly. There's no way they're going to line that up perfectly. It's possible. Awesome. So the end result was he had 17 stitches, so my guess of 27 was uh, off by about 10. But best of all, we did it together. It was an amazing year, and 2023 is going to be absolutely off the hook. I cannot wait to share it all with you guys. Happy New Year. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. Button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Dude, he's got a 30-foot vertical. Whoa! Did you see that?